Let me ask you this. What types of data do channels contain? Is it texture and text? Is it painting and shapes? Is it color and selection information? Or is it all of those? If you think it's all of those, you are incorrect. It is color and selection information. You're welcome. So, the design for the episode graphic incorporates a pattern into the background. We're going to create the pattern by customizing a vector graphic shape. The background is based on star shapes. There is no star tool in Photoshop, but we can easily create one by customizing a shape drawn with the polygon tool. So click File and then Open. Go to your Lesson 6 folder and click the 06 pattern and open that document. Select the Polygon tool, it's over here, Polygon tool, it's grouped with the Rectangle tools. In the Options bar, make sure the tool is set to Shape, right here, make sure it's set to Shape. Hold down the Shift and draw a polygon shape about 340 pixels wide. If it isn't centered on the canvas, after drawing, we can reposition it with the Move tool. So I'm going to hold down the Shift key and drag in, what did I say? Oh, I'm on inches. Let's change this to pixels. I'm going to undo mine. Start again. 340. Doesn't have to be exact. And I'm going to center it. All right. With the shape layer still selected, still on the shape layer over here, in the appearance section, set the fill to none. So I click there. The fill is set to none. Set the stroke to 20. Apply a blue stroke color slightly darker than the background. Click right here on this, open up this, and I'm going to type uh, R, it's going to be 27, and green is going to be 58, and blue is 185, and then click OK. You can see that you have a blue shape. Set the polygon number of sides. to 8. So right here we're going to change that 5 to 8. Set the star ratio to 70 percent. When the star ratio is less than 100 percent, the number of sides becomes the number of points. In the Layers panel, duplicate the star layer by dragging and dropping it on a Create New Layer button. So I'm going to click here and drag down and we're going to have a new layer. In the properties panel, so you're on your new layer now, change the rotate angle to 24. Choose Edit, Free Transform, hold down the Alt or the Option key as you drag a handle to shrink the duplicate star layer to fit inside the larger star, and then press Enter or Return. So. Let's 
there you go and then press enter or return so your new star should be inside there the edit free transform path command may appear as free transform if you switch to the move tool in step three the command is free transform path when the current tool edit paths or shapes so click view pattern preview and then click OK if that comes up and there's an example of your patterns only the original shape is editable but pattern preview updates to account for any changes you made select the move tool select polygon 1 which is the star tool Look for a small circular handle inside the top right star point. If you don't see the handle, make sure show transform controls is shown. So I can't see it, so I gotta check this box that says show transform controls. Now I can see that. And increase the view magnification. Drag the handle. Uh, let's see, drag the handle to change the sharp point, sharp star points to rounded. I'm going to make it to uh, make it to about 20. So the pattern preview updates. Select the polygon one copy. So set the number of points to 15. Change this to 15 and the stroke width to 15. Choose edit, define pattern. We're going to name it podcast pattern. And then click OK. This creates a pattern preset you can, so you can use it in any Photoshop document. Choose File, Save As, and we're going to name this uh, 06 uh, pattern underscore your name. Make sure it's in Lesson 6 folder, and then click Save. Switch to the working document that we were on. Select the Episode Background layer. Make sure you're on that. In the Layers panel, click the Create New Fill or Adjustment layer. this one right here and we're going to select uh, pattern up here we're going to click this arrow and we're going to go down to right here to the one that we just created look at there in the pattern fill dialog box we're going to change let's set the angle to 45 and we're going to scale it down to 35 and then click OK. Look at there. If yours doesn't look exactly like mine because you may have done something a little bit different, that's OK. So let's click File and then Save. And our podcast background is ready for the next step.